In this video, I want to go through how to solve um, inequalities that involve modulus functions. So we've looked at how to solve modulus equations. Now we want to solve these inequalities. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to harken back to what you learnt in the first year when you were looking at quadratic inequalities. So the same skills that you learnt about sketching the curve, as it was then, and then identifying the region, that is exactly how we're going to go through it here. We want to be able to identify uh, the region using a sketch of the graph. So let's say we look at number one first. What I want to do is I want to sketch y equals the modulus of 3x plus 1 and the line y equals 7. So let's do that. So the modulus of 3x plus 1 will hit the x-axis at minus 1 third. OK, so minus 1 third about there. OK, uh, that would be 1. And then y equals 7. There's y equals 7. OK, so now what I'm being asked is, where is this graph below this one? So where is the V-shape, effectively, below the horizontal line y equals 7? And it's below it between these two values, because we can see it's below there. So I want that single region. So in order to do that, I need to find these intersection points. So I need to turn this into a solving an equation problem for the second part. So this line is the line 3x plus 1, and that's where it's crossing 7. So I can do 3x plus 1 equals 7. That line is minus 3x minus 1, and that's crossing 7. Or I could just solve 3x plus 1 equals minus 7. So just change the sign of one side. Take 1 from both sides, and then divide both sides by 3. So x equals 2, so that point is 2. Take 1 from both sides here, and we're going to get minus 8. Then divide both sides by 3, so we get minus 8 thirds. So this point is minus 8 thirds. So solving the inequality would be to say, right, well, x has to be between minus 8 thirds and 2. So minus 8 thirds is less than x is less than 2. OK, and that is how I needed to get to that answer. Let's look at the next one. Next one's a little bit more complicated. So with the next one, we've got modulus of x is less than modulus of x minus 5. So we're going to have to sketch both of these on the same graph. So mod x, that's an easy one to sketch. y equals mod x. There we are. Now, y equals modulus of x minus 5. That's going to hit the x-axis at 5, so along here. And it's going to have the same gradient um, as the y equals mod x. So it's going to be these two parallel lines. OK, that's 5. So what is it asking? Where is y equals mod x below y equals mod x minus 5? So it's below it here, this whole region here. So we need to find that value, and then we look at this region. OK, that is where mod, mod x is less than this one, where it's below. So, I just need to put x, because that's the line y equals x, equal to this line, which is minus x plus 5. OK, because that would be 5, and we go be going down like 5 minus x, or minus x plus 5. Add the x to both sides, and divide both sides by 2. 
and of course it's going to be five halves. And it really should be because it should be halfway between the zero and five. So that is five halves. And so in order for the mod x to be less than mod x, uh, mod of x minus five, x has to be less than five halves. Okay, that solves that one. Right, now for the third one. We've got mod of 2x plus 1, take away 3, is less than x, is greater than x. So, first things first. I need to sketch y equals modulus 2x plus 1, take away 3. Now, in its current format like that, it's a bit uh, nasty to work with. So, because of that 2 in there, I don't particularly want that 2 in there, so I'm going to factor it out, much like you would a bracket, and I'd have to have 1 half inside. Okay? Now, this tells me precisely where the vertex is, so it gives me an idea of where the uh, graph sits. So, the graph has a vertex at minus 1 half, minus 3. So used to drawing modular signs. Okay, so minus a half minus three. So that'd be down here somewhere, wouldn't it? Okay. Now it's going to be crossing through the y-axis when x is zero. Okay. So that will get me modulus of one take away three, so minus two. So it's going to be crossing through the y-axis at minus two. It's going to look something like that. So there's my y equals modulus 2x plus 1, take away 3. Now, y equals x is a, a diagonal line. It's not going to have as steep a gradient as the 2x plus 1. So it's going to be crossing through. It's going to be crossing through the v shape at two points here and here. So that's y equals x. A bit of a wobbly y equals x. It's a bit more like that, isn't it? Okay. Still not perfect, but it'll do. It'll do. Okay. So I've got to find where is the V shape above x. So it's above it, there, and there. So I need to find these two intersection points. So I'm wanting that region, and I'm wanting that region. So let's look at this point first. That is where mod of 2x plus 1 take away 3, so 2x plus 1 take away 3, is equal to x. Now, just so you kind of like understand why I've got rid of the modular signs there, well, this line is the line 2x uh, minus 2, okay? That's effectively what that line is. So in this, you can think about it as just getting rid of the modular signs and just take it as positive for this, for this case, and then we can take it as negative for the second case. So 2x minus 2 is x. Take x from both sides and add the 2 to both sides. So x would have to be 2. OK? Which makes sense, because if the gradient is 2, I'm going 1 along, 2 up. That would get me to 0. 1 along, 2 up. That would get me to 2. OK? So x equals 2 is that point. And then we want this point here, don't we? OK? So we can do a similar case, but this time minus 2x minus 1. I've still got the minus 3, OK? So I'm just changing the sign of what was inside the modulus. I've still got that equals x on the outside. So I'm going to add the 2x to both sides this time, leaving me with minus 4 is equal to 3x. Divide both sides by 3, so x is minus 4 thirds. 
So the two regions are x is less than minus 4 thirds and x is greater than 2. So much in the same way as you would have done quadratic inequalities, if you've got two distinct regions, you must have two distinct inequalities. So what you should be identifying here is that the process is much the same as if you were to solve a uh, modulus equation, but now you have to identify the region as well. Okay, So it's just like one step further than uh, the previous set of questions where we were just solving an equation.